Hello everybody! Welcome to another video. Today you are seeing in front of you a canvas that I poured my colors on. I started to heat it up and then all hell broke loose in my house so it just sat and nothing happened to it. So now I'm gonna pour over it. Um, I am working on what is called a gesso block and I will show you one here in one second. I buy them at Joann's. They are fairly inexpensive and they are wood. They are called gesso blocks because the front of them are gessoed. So they are white and they are a dream to work on when it comes to resin. And here's the thing. Joann's the other day had a 70% off sale on them. So this 12 by 16 cost me $4. And I'll show you the quality of these things. They're really, really good. Um, you can check on joannes.com. They should have them. I will show you they're made by Fab Lab. And um, even when they're not on sale, I think this 12 by 16 is $12. So they're not really overly expensive for wood. And the reason why I like them compared to Hobby Lobby's gesso boards are because the sides are one and a half inch thick. I just love, love, love how thick these are. So here's the front. That's what they look like. And I'll show you the label. And the back is nice. If you wanted to do like a 3D resin pour, this would be awesome. Just do like a reverse canvas. But anyway, they come in sizes from 8x10 all the way up to 16x20. So when they had that sale, I got eight of them. I got two 16x20s, two 12x16s, two 11x14s, and two 8x10s. And it was under $20. I was in heaven if they had a shelf full I would have bought them all because you have to take advantage of sales like that you have to be able to save money where you can so what I did with this was I had previously taped the sides off because I want the sides to be that natural wood look and um, like I said this is just a mess uh, my daughter came in my grandson was crying I had a just it was a total nightmare so anyway i have my resin mixed up i'm using stone coat today and uh, i'm going to be trying some new pigments that i bought they are by color art and the three colors that i've chosen i will show you here are red plum now open them up for you so you can see them. I've never used these before. So there's the red plum. Then I have fantasy fuchsia. And then the last one is called golden autumn. And I'm not sure Here's the Golden Autumn. I'm not sure if I will be using white, black, and or gold and silver. So I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to mix up my resin, cut my colors, and I will be right back. Okay, so here we go. I've decided to go with Stone Coat Black Base Tint. I've saved a little bit of clear just in case I change my mind and want to add in some white. I'm not sure with these colors what's going to look nicer. Here's my Lorez Gold, Molten Gold, favorite gold ever. This is the Red Plum by Color Art. It's close to like a Merlot color. Well, to me it is anyway. This is the Fantasy Fuchsia. And 
and then this is the golden autumn. Okay, so now my timer is going. I'm going to try to keep this at a one part video. That's my new goal here, unless it's a complicated project. Then I would need more time, obviously. But the first thing I want to do is put down some black in some areas. I'm thinking that maybe I would do this. Just want to have it on like sporadic places on the canvas so that if I decide to swipe or blow the colors over it, it'll be a little bit everywhere. I don't want it totally covering the canvas. Okay. So now I'm going to use the red plum. So I was talking to somebody that has done resin work for about 15 years and was told that sanding in between layers is a waste of time. That the only time you really need to sand is if you're working on something that is slippery like glass or ceramic. Um, just to give it a little bit of a tooth and that the chemical makeup of resin is so strong of, of epoxy is so strong that like this I did yesterday it's still a little tacky it, this is never going to peel apart so that's what I was told now whether or not you want to sand that's totally up to you but I'm just relaying that information that I heard. So if you're working on coasters or something like that, maybe just give them a light scruff. Or if you do a layer of resin, like say this was cured and I wanted to hand paint some with acrylic or something like that on there, then you would have to sand it to give it a little bit of tooth for the acrylic to stick. But 
as far as just doing another layer like this on top, I was told that it's really not necessary. But if you want to do that because you feel safer that way, then that's perfectly fine. Personally, I don't, and I've never had a problem. The oldest painting I have is three and a half years old, and it's perfectly fine. So, it's totally what you want to do. here also these little wood spoons I found at Walmart so for a Dixie cup full of resin you need approximately <clears throat> excuse me approximately one and a half of these little spoons worth of mica. As for the paste, you would need less. The paste, I would say, for a cup full, one level little spoon like that would fill in the... Uh, a Dixie cup this size, one level spoon of paste this size would color it. I know a lot of people here, 10%, 10%, 10%. Well, looking at a, a Dixie cup full of resin, can you really tell how much 10% is? No. So... My channel, I like to do, you know how they have the cooking for dummies, computer for dummies? This is resin for dummies. <laughs> My version. And I am not calling you guys dummies. Don't put words in my mouth, please. You are all beautiful, smart, intelligent people. Alright, so now with the Fuchsia, I'm going to do some little puddle pours with that to fill in some of these little holes that I have. See how these colors look together. I hope they look all right. Yeah, nice one right there. Right into that black. That's going to pop like crazy. So, Connecticut, we are supposed to get a quarter inch of snow tomorrow with a little bit of uh, sleet. You should see those grocery stores, how crazy people get here. I just want to send them to like Canada to live for a year so they could see what snow really is. Or even just, you know, Vermont. <laughs> it's ridiculous the way they act.
almost like the apocalypse is about to happen. Silly. And then let me ask, what happens when your lights go out for a week? And you bought all those eggs and milk. <laughs> You're not going to do you any good then. Alrighty, I'll put a little bit up here. And then I think I could use a little more black and a little bit more of the uh, maybe plum. I don't want to use the gold yet. I'm just going to add a little more to my cup, so I have some clear over here. To the side, I have to have a little clear on the side. Put a little bit down here. Maybe I will add it just a little bit of gold. All right, let's see what happens here. I like to add the gold after because it does like that 3D effect. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait until after. All right, let me see if I can blow this around, see if it uh, works or not.
just kind of blowing it around and I'm going to tilt it. Tilt this around a little bit. to mix up a little more black. Just a wee bit. And then I'm just going to put some more into this piece. Oh, these colors are kind of funky together. I like them. I kind of like your nose. All right. Going to move it around again. that I don't have a blow dry uh, napkin in here for my hands.
Okay. Get another pair of gloves on, guys, and I'm going to tilt it a little bit more, and then add in the gold. Starting to come together. Starting to. And I have to get these spots over here on the side. Alright, first I'm going to torch really quickly. See, I don't want to lose those cells on the top. That's for sure. Because I like those a lot. have to play around with it until you get it where you want it and then once you're happy you'll know you'll feel it that I'm going to blow out some of this gold I'm going to have to blow out Just kind of trying to string it through there right now. There's my alarm. There's me alarm. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with some more plum, red plum. And the uh, 
filled in autumn also in a minute. I'm kind of laying that one right on top of the gold in that area. Okay, just going to quickly, quickly click the, mix up some of the Golden Autumn, a little bit more of it. Let's get rid of this spoon. Getting there, I promise. I promise. Just have to be feeling it. You know, I know you guys know what I mean. You have to feel it. Okay, now I'm done. Now I'm done. Let me heat it up a little bit and I'll take you guys in for a close up. play around with it a little bit but that's going to be the majority of what it looks like um and this one little hole here that i missed okay let me take you guys in First of all, Indiana would like to say happy pouring. Hey, Indy, do you have something to say? Huh? Do you have something to say? Speak. Indy, 
Speak, speak. No? You just want to look like a big dodo? Mm -hmm. Say bye, guys. Say bye. Okay, here we go. I may play with it a little bit more, but... I think the colors kind of look cool together. They're different. Oh, Indy agrees. I love the fantasy fuchsia with the black. It's really pretty. Yeah. It's different. So that's the video for today. I am going to contemplate whether or not I want to do anything else with this. I don't think so, though. It's different. Different colors. Nice movement. I think we'll leave well enough alone. So, I want to thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And, as always, happy pouring. Let's see if Indy wants to say it now. Indy. Indy. No. No, he said no. Okay, good night, guys.